Hey, what's up guys? It's Oblivion again. Um, so I'm here to talk about one of the two events that we've got coming up. Uh, the second event will be discussed in a different video. Um, I just want to focus on this one video for the moment. Um, so <clears throat> this video is coming out tomorrow night uh, for me at 10 p.m. Um, but 7 p.m. server time or 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. Uh, this is, of course, I'm talking global here, of course. <clears throat> and it's actually super simple. It's literally another one of those play the game, get rewards, right? So we all get 12 energy for the D hole every day. Boom. That just covers one of yours. Um, we're all going to farm, honestly, 50 dungeons. We, let's just be real. We farm that any, every day anyways, right? So the Ifrit missions, very, very easy. Uh, you can get those done throughout the day pretty easily. Um, scenario also counts, and Rift Dungeons also count. So if you're doing raids or you're just you're farming for maybe your homunculus or something, whatever, that'll help out a lot. The next one, the Vampire missions, I think are just the easiest ones. So the Ifrit missions, you get three pumpkins. So you have to complete three things. The vampire missions, you get two pumpkins, so you have to complete two things. You start the morning off with ten wings. You can get the arena ones done first thing in the morning every every day, if you want it. Um, but then they also have... Oh, sorry, it's Rift Dungeons exclusively on the Ifrit's one. My bad. Because Rift Raid is down here in vampire missions... And that's five to ten times easy. And Tartarus, so you do lab five to ten times, which let's be honest, if you're not doing if you're not using five lanterns until Tartarus is found, you're a problem. Um, and then guild battle and siege three and five times. Guild battle, you're going to do three guild battles in your first guild battle. So that's pretty simple. Um, I think that that's actually very easily obtainable. Uh, it just down here it says essentially you get one pumpkin for completing one mission among all the missions. So whatever mission you complete, you get a pumpkin for it. Um, the mission resets in the morning, just like normal. Um, for me, it's uh, 11 o'clock in the morning. Um, entering dimen uh, dimensional rift. Secret Dungeon and Hall of Heroes oh, and uh, World Arena, so the normal ones won't count, which is fine. That's the normal ones, we understand that. And then uh, for the lab ones, you can't just do the uh, one where it's just a bunch of stages and just call it good. It's it's per lantern used. This is essentially all it's trying to tell you. Per lantern used, you get that. Awesome. Um, Ifrit missions, you get 100 energy. And Vampire Missions, you get 150 mana. Who cares, right? Uh, bonus mint Bonus. Whoa. <laughs> bonus mission. Uh, summon default, three star plus monsters five times. Up to 20 pumpkins can be acquired. So for those of you who have been saving up uh, summon sessions, this will be really easy for you. For those of us, like myself, who just did a summon session, uh, it won't be quite so easy. Um, crafting a rune 5, 10, 20 times so crafting runes which most of us aren't really doing anyways but this, I mean we've got the materials saved up so might as well um, power up a rune or an artifact that one's going to be freaking easy we're always powering up runes and artifacts so that's actually, honestly that's super easy um, so this one is where I kind of want to get into, I guess, my opinion um, on what I would use, on what I would aim for. But of course, you know, you guys do whatever you guys feel like you guys need to do, uh, whichever one you think is going to benefit you the most. This is just my personal opinion here. Uh, so for the 10 collected, I would honestly would go with the 100 energy. One, that means a lot more farming. Right now, everyone's running kind of low on crystals, running low on 
uh, stored energy, whatever it is, we're running low on all of it, right? So more energy is always great. Energy means runes or artifacts. Also can translate into mana, which is great. Um, so I think the energy, in my opinion, is definitely more valuable. Um, and then the 20, I'm going to go with the two Mystical Scrolls. So the Summoning Stone, the Scam Stones are great in the sense that you get to kind of choose which monsters you're going for. However, you need so many just to get a guaranteed Nat 5, right? So really you're going for three stars or four stars. Well, Summoning Stones, you get one and a half summons. Mystical Scrolls, you get two summons. I'm just going off the value there. The value seems higher to me to get the Mystical Scrolls. Um, so that's what I'm gonna go with. The next one, of course, is 500,000 mana or 150 energy. I'm going with the energy again. Again, same reasons. It just makes more sense to me to go with that and to try to, you know, keep farming rather than, oh, hey, I got a small boost in mana that I'm just gonna use on runes anyways. So, um, the next one is 150 summoning stones or 150 crystals. I am going the crystals. Um, I don't actually think I need to explain that one. <laughs> it's three summons or a ton more farming. Uh, Cause that's what, five re uh, refills? If you're doing the, uh, the 30 crystal refills. That's pretty good. I'm gonna take that. I'm good on that. Um, you get four, on this one you can get four four star Rainbow Mon plus 25 ancient coins, or one five star and 25 ancient coins. I'm actually torn on this one. Um, but I'm probably, because I've been uh, le leveling up a bunch of stuff, so I have a bunch of stuff that's ready to just be uh, brought to 5-star as just food. Um, I'll probably go with the 4-4-stars. Four, four um, but the, uh, either way, I don't feel like you're actually going wrong either way here. So definitely go with whichever one you feel like you need. If you've got monsters, like say you've just been powering up monsters because you've been doing a lot of scenario and um, whatever, go for the four stars. If you haven't been doing that, you've just been kind of farming in the dungeons, whatever, go with the five star Rainbow Mon. It, essentially, they translate into the same thing. They translate into a, almost the same thing, essentially. So, either way, it's really good for you. Um, the Grindstone and the Gem. They're both legendary, and so I'm gonna tell you to just go with whatever one you prefer. I'm gonna go with the gem, personally. Um, but if you wanna go with the grindstone, that actually makes plenty of sense. Um, like plenty, plenty, plenty of sense. And then the last one is an LD scroll or 50 legendary pieces. I'm going the LD scroll. Um, for those of you who watch my stream, you guys have seen that in the last four months I pulled three LD Nat 5s. I'm trying to keep chasing that. I know that luck, my luck has run out, but I'm going to keep trying. Also, I mean, it's fun. When you pull an LD Nat 5, it just, even if it's a bad LD Nat 5, it's still a lot of fun. So, <clears throat> that's personally where I'm going to go. Uh, Plus, that's a guaranteed summon, where the legendary pieces is half of a summon. Uh, but both hold a lot of value. So if you're trying to just go for... If you're not worried about LD monsters, because realistically you're not going to get an LD5, then don't even worry about it. Uh, for this one... Honestly, I'll probably go with the uh, Angelmon. You just... You get one of each... So, I'm just kind of like, why not, I guess? Um, so that's that's kind of where I'm at on that one. We'll see. Uh, the second one translates into the same thing, so I'm probably just going to go with the four star, level one. 
Uh, the next one, super easy, hands down. Anybody, no one should ever pick the symbols and the transcendence and whatever. Pick the crystals. That translates into farming. That translates into getting those uh, pieces and actually getting runes that are worthwhile. It goes into your B12 runs, right? Get those. Don't be crazy. Um, attribute scroll, scroll times three or mystical scroll times four. I'm going to go mystical scroll times four. Um, more than likely. I am still kind of trying to chase Ciara and Hathor, so I'm kind of like, mm, maybe, but I did just get a fun new combo in Hegang and Bellinus, so I'm kind of like having a lot of fun with them, so maybe I don't need Ciara and Hathor just yet so that I can play around with them, so I might actually just go with the Mystical Scrolls, it's an extra summon. <clears throat> uh, then the next one is... Force Awaken in 25 Ancient Coins, and then Super Angelmon in 25 Ancient Coins. Um, probably, uh, honestly, I find a lot more value in the uh, Super Angelmon because it just it simplifies leveling up. I can just level something, get something to 6 star, and just instantly have it ready to go for me. I prefer that. I can always farm the materials to awaken a monster, and I can farm those a lot quicker than I can farm uh, from 1 to 40. Mostly. The next one, I believe, should be a no-brainer, but just in case, you need to go with the Legendary Room. Two reaps is not worth a guaranteed six star legendary room right that's a six star legendary room guys you need to go with that room um it should be a no-brainer like i said but just in case it's not and somebody's like "Ooh, two reaps if you don't have legend rooms to reap then reaps are kind of useless right legend room you can't pass it up not everybody's gonna get a perfect Legend room. Not everybody's gonna even get a good legend room. Some of us are gonna get like flat stat uh, slot fours. That's gonna suck. It is, but still better chances of getting something that you're gonna use right now than getting two reaps. Um, again, same thing. Should be a no-brainer, but just in case, guys, uh, the the Devilmon, absolutely. Uh, Devilmon guarantees a skill up for one of your monsters. Whatever nat 5 you need to skill up, right? 50 legendary pieces gets you half a summon. Now, with that being said, if you get the 50 pieces here and the 50 pieces here, that's a full summon, still a Devilmon is worth more. It holds more value. So, you just, you're playing the odds. A guaranteed skill up for a monster of whoever it may be on your account. Uh, for me, it'll be going to uh, Bellinus because I'm too shy of fully skilling him up. I've had a problem of getting... <laughs> it's not really a problem, but I've had a, a lot of uh, monsters recently that I've wanted to skill up, so here we are. I find myself lacking when I find a monster that I really want to skill up. Anyways, not the point. <laughs> Let's move on. Um, you can select the type of the legendary room and the number of properties. Okay, so you select the room and the number and the properties are selected at random. So, not bad. You select what rune it is. So, if you're chasing, say, uh, will runes or say you're chasing you know, violent runes, whatever it may be, most people are going to choose will and violent. If we're being honest with each other here, that's what most of us are going to choose. So, but there are other things that people do choose. Whatever you may be chasing, you can get one of those and hope for the best. Um, uh, 
And then the gem and grindstone will be completely random. All right, that's that's fine. <clears throat> and then, of course, if you collect 20 pumpkins, um, you get this background, which I think is awesome. Like, super, super cool. Um, I'm not, like, really hyped for it. Anyways, <laughs> let's go to the end of this. The normal stuff available 24 hours after the event ends. Uh, restart the game if you're playing during the event to avoid any delays. Um, if you don't see the uh, uh, reward in your inbox, restart. All of, you know, all the normal stuff. Contact customer service if you're having you know any issues, whatever. Um, so honestly, guys, it's gonna be a really easy event. Get some pretty good rewards, in my opinion. I really would love to see you guys out there farming it, grinding it out. Um, I, those are my opinion on what should, what I'm going to get, and kind of what a lot of you guys should get, especially if you're free to play. Um, <clears throat> but, anyways, guys, that's really it for me. Uh, if you watch the previous videos, you will know more about the um, about the giveaway. If you're interested in getting uh, participating in the giveaway, all you have to do is subscribe to the channel, um, follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. Leave a message on any post on uh, Instagram and Twitter, and just let me know who you, who you are. And I will be doing a live giveaway on my Twitch stream. Anyways, guys, much love. I'll see you guys soon, and have a good one. Good night, guys.